James Jefferson, the town crier of Liberty Square, but my friends call me JJ. Gather round, gather round, you're all just in time. Come closer, all ye people, gather round and listen well. I've got a satchel full of history's greatest tales to tell. Your hair will stand on end with all the history and such. Unless, of course, you're bald like me, in which case, not so much. Hey, Sam, it's Sam Beagle, everybody. Tell us, Sam, what great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the Declaration of Independence! Ah, a great story indeed. The people of the colonies, they said, let freedom reign! Declared their independence, and they overthrew the king! There were battles, there was violence, there were spies and traitors. But we won't speak about all that. This is wholesome through and through. Right, let's bring out some friends to help us. Hey there, that's your cue. Welcome to Hiya! Great moments in history. Ra la 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 la. Great moments in history. And this one features moi. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history, but only the American. Great moments in history, but just the American parts. <laughs> Hi ho, and welcome to Great Moments in History. What? Just the American parts? That's right, Sam. Uh, as the official Liberty Square historian, I have drafted tributes to every important event in American history. JJ, please remind everyone which great moment we are sharing today. The Declaration of Independence. Excellent. I read it every night before bed, and so should you. <laughs> and now I will recite from memory the entire Declaration of Independence. <clears throat> when in the course of human... Uh, excuse, excuse me, it, Sam? Sam? Kermit, you are interrupting America. Uh, Sam, the gang and I were talking, and we had some ideas to make your show more entertaining. Entertaining? Mm -hmm. In a theme park? Yeah. Highly unusual. Aw, oh, please, Sam. Uh, JJ, I could use a little help here. Sure, Kermit. Let's put this to a vote. All those in favor of making Sam's story more entertaining, say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Oh, it appears democracy has spoken. All right, Kermit. You and your band of weirdos can help. Okay. But please, do it with dignity. Oh, sure, Sam. We always do things with dignity. Hey, Kermit. The All Chicken Chorus is ready for their big number. The clock heard round the world. Uh, Get uh, girls! Oh, Kermit! What part will Moi be playing in today's performance? Uh, well, Piggy, this is a story about the Founding Fathers. There's no part for you. No part for Moi? Uh -uh. Oh, we'll see about that! <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, places everyone. Sam, JJ, take it away. What do you say? Want to help us make history? Yeah. Yeah. Do the patriotic music. The year is 1776. 1776. We are in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. JJ, why are you doing that? Um, I'm the town crier. Well, cheer up and allow me to continue. <laughs> the year is 1776, and the Second Continental Congress has convened. Roll call, Thomas Jefferson. Hi ho, Jefferson here. John Adams. Hey, that's me. <laughs> and the highly quotable Benjamin Franklin. Ah, Ben Franklin here. A penny saved is a penny earned. And, if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is definitely not the sport for you! <laughs> Let's hear it for your founding fathers! <laughs> Sam? The delegates are discussing the question of America's independence from England, and there is much debate. That's you guys. Oh, oh uh, right, right. Uh, debate, <laughs> debate, debate, debate. Uh, point of view. Uh, uh, opinion. Says you. Argument. Point. Uh, count the point. Order. Point. The point. Order. I'll take two hot dogs with extra mayo. Uh, a banana sounds appealing. <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> you don't get on with 
Okay. okay, Sam. Guys, guys, look, let's get down to business. Does anyone have any arguments in favor of independence? I do. Our continued association with England has grown intolerable. King George has altered our government, enforced cruel repression, and abolished our rights. Wow, nice job, Gonzo. How did you remember all that? I stapled it to my arm. Uh. Oh, yes. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> okay, now. Does anyone have any arguments in favor of England and King George? Boo! Boo! No King George! No King Come on, everyone. George! No King George! No King George! No King George! No King George! Did someone call moi? Uh... Piggy, what are you doing here? I told you there's no part for you in this show. Of course there is! After all, who better to play royalty than moi? Women aren't kings, they're queens. Fine! All hail Queen of Georgia! Good grief. I protest! This is not historically accurate! The king was not at the Congress! You got a bear playing Ben Franklin! And doing a great job at it! Let's hear it from the bear, huh? Go Fozzie! Go Fozzie! Go Fozzie! Go Fozzie! Go Fozzie! Go Fozzie! Sorry, sorry, Kermit. King George? I mean, uh, Queen Georgette? You are not a good ruler. Who? What? Yes, you. You mistreat the colonists. You raise taxes. You are drunk with power. You might even say she's intoxicated. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Queen Georgette, can't you see? The colonists are angry. We, we are angry. The colonists are irate. We are irate. The colonists are revolting! We are revolting! You can say that again! We are revolting! Ah. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's time to vote. JJ, if you please. Sure. All those in favor of declaring our independence from England and Queen Georgette say aye! Aye! aye. The eyes have it! Let's declare our independence! Yay! Yay. Queen Georgette, it appears you lose. Wait, what? I lose? Well, sure, Piggy. Y you see, in the American Revolution, England loses, which means the king, or the queen, loses. Excuse me? It is I, Georgette Washington! And I cannot tell a lie. I look fabulous! Piggy. This is a oh, boy, he really does. Enough of this nonsense. Can we please move on? Sure, Sam. Now we need someone to write the declaration. We need someone with the brains. Someone with the wit. Someone with a pen. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, uh, okay. I, Thomas Jefferson, will write the declaration. But I'm going to need everyone's help. Let's start with a list of demands, shall we? I demand a new cell phone. A big old oh, oh, I want a case of rubber chicken. chicken. Did somebody say chicken? Is, uh, uh, case okay, girls, hit it. A trip to a uh, case of uh, 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 I want to a Guys, when Jefferson wrote the Declaration, it was more than a list of demands. What? what? Oh. What are you talking about? Yeah, it was about things we all believe in. Things worth fighting for. Th things that inspired the birth of a new nation. Gee, Kermit, what do you mean? Well, like the Declaration says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are all together now, Pursuit of happiness! <laughs> Sam, why are you crying? I thought that was pretty good. It wasn't good. It was glorious. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, hey Sam, I guess now you're the town crier. <laughs> ring the bell. Let freedom ring!
Great moments in history. Great moments in history. Great moments in history. Great moments in history with just the American parts. Thanks everyone, we couldn't have done it without you. And to England, no hard feelings. You're still one of our best friends. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. You know, I'm feeling especially patriotic. I think I'm going to visit the Hall of Presidents. I have fun seats. <laughs> of course you do. Come along, everybody. See you in Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Bye. So long, everybody. Bye.